Hi, this is Debbie Sementelli from Lettering Art Studio and today I'm doing a tutorial to show you how to import font glyphs not accessible in Photoshop from Illustrator or InDesign. And some people don't know that font designers like myself make a variety of additional flourishes and ornaments and letters that um, cannot be accessed through the keyboard. So they get put into a glyph panel. Well, for some reason, Photoshop does not have a glyph panel for you to access, but Illustrator and InDesign do. So this is something that you can do if you have Illustrator or InDesign and you want to bring in some of these fun little things um, from the glyph panel. So I'm going to demonstrate that by showing you how I brought in this particular flourish design and I will start by going to Illustrator. So what I've done is I've created a layer and added this text box by going to T for type tool and just creating the box for, with that type tool. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to decide what type I'm going to use. In this case, I'm using my font, the Dom Loves Mary Pro font. And I've decided the point size is 24 points up here. And I'm going to type and down to glyphs and click on that. And there you'll see the glyph panel. So you can see in addition to all of the letters, and foreign letters and some extra letters. There's also all these cool little um, flourishes and ornaments down here. So I am going to go ahead and choose, whoops, come back to me, there we go. Choose this particular flourish. I think I did it twice. And I am going to minimize, yeah, there I did it twice, okay minimize the glyphs by just pressing on these little arrows and now I'm going to bring it back up because I want to put the mirrored image there minimize again and there you have it and I make sure that is centered and we're good to go now I'm going to add another layer and put another text box on top because it's sometimes fun to um, to add and combine flourishes. So we're going to go back to the glyph panel. In fact, I kind of do that purposely. I design them so that they can be combined and you can do all kinds of cool things with them. So there we go. We've created this one and I'm going to now bring this down here. Okay, perfect. So there we have our flourish. And now I'm going to want to save it so I go up to File, Save As, and I'm saving it as an Adobe PDF. So I go down to Format and click on Adobe PDF and Save. I had one already named that, so it replaced it. There we go. And now I'm good to go. I have the file on my computer as a PDF. So I'm going to go back to Photoshop. Let's take that flourish out. I'm going to add another layer, go up to File, Place, and now I just find it on my computer and press OK, bring it up here. And if I want to adjust the size, I just grab the corner, click on Shift so that it maintains the correct proportions, and just make it the size that I want and move it around to where I want it. Press return and there it is. So that's it. Pretty simple, pretty easy. And um, if you'd like to check out my fonts, you can go to letteringartstudio.com. I have uh, two fonts currently, Bellucia and Dom Loves Mary. They're both hand lettered um, and I'm working on a third font that will be released in May of 2013 that I'm excited uh, about sharing with people so I hope you'll check those out too. 
In the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was in, uh, helpful and gave you the information you might have been wondering about. Okay, take care. Bye.